Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, I just wanted to show you a couple of different ways of capturing your screen. Um, these are can be very useful. For example, if you're trying to send a screenshot of a specific um, item or a specific thing on the screen, but you don't necessarily just want to hit the print screen button on your because on your uh, on your keyboard because that way it will just capture the whole screen, right? So if you hit the print screen on your keyboard, it will capture the whole screen and then you have to go back into some kind of editor and edit it make it shrink smaller and that way you know it's just, it just doesn't look right you know if you wanted to make it look professional for example you're trying to send a, a screenshot to your boss about something that you found something that you worked on you want to make sure it looks neat and and the screenshot you want it to be as, as professional as possible and it really does make a huge difference especially when you send an email and it just looks much neater instead of having the whole screen of um, unneeded information you simply tell it the, the screenshot this is the only thing I'm worried about and this is the only thing I need to send in my email okay so um, al alternative to just hitting the print screen on your keyboard is to hit alt print screen but that's still only copies for example that window you know for example if I was to do this and I hit alt print screen okay alt print screen on my keyboard um, and just in case you're you're new um, I wanted this video to apply to beginner and also somebody intermediate because I feel like um, this this could benefit uh, to beginners especially if they don't know how to capture a screen but also very useful to someone who just wants to be more efficient um, okay so if you're brand new you would just hit print screen which is this button on your keyboard it may be positioned somewhere else but if you hit print screen button here it will capture the whole screen and I'll show you how to how, how I know that okay so if we go to paint you could click start and just type in paint okay this is one way of finding or, or uh, accessing the the print screen uh, command or basically to see what happened with the print screen button that you just hit right it captured the whole screen and you can just go to your uh, paint and then you just hit paste right and my screen is huge but I'll just stretch it out so it as you can see here it just captured everything everything and we don't we don't want that why would we want that you know I mean there are cases where you want that but not necessarily if you're like I said if you're just trying to you know point to a specific point of information I'm just gonna close this out because I don't feel like resizing it but I'll go ahead and open up paint again just to demonstrate what alt print screen does okay I'm just gonna minimize paint here because we're gonna need it but so in order to just capture this window or any other window that you have open like you know if you have this one if you just want to capture that or just that you would go to your keyboard and then you would hold alt and then hit print screen so what that does it captures the screen just the window of the last highlighted window so whatever you have that's sitting forward it won't be this one but in this case it will be this one so when we go back to paint and hit paste there it is it's just that front window that's been copied over okay but we want it to be even more specific so let's do that I'm just gonna close this don't save and we don't need this for the for the further of the in in the further part of this demonstration we don't need the keyboard so I'm just gonna kind of close it and I'm gonna close this background and we're just gonna pick something very specific on the screen that we want to capture for example we're just gonna go for this ad here we just want to capture this ad here so we can save it and uh, attach it to our email or save it to our documents or what have you right so how do we do that well uh, in case uh, you were I guess you didn't already know this Windows comes with a very handy tool and it's called the snipping tool so go to start and just type in snipping tool okay and it's great and once you launch it I will show you it's very simple to use once you click on it here 
Um, your window will change color. And I just want to bring this over. And I'm hoping you can see this because sometimes my uh, uh, my video recorder goes uh, black whenever I get a pop-up. But I'm hoping you can see this. Basically, the screen goes kind of milky. You get like this filthy, uh, not, not filthy, filter like like milky like uh, filter that covers your whole screen and then you get a little arrow pointer I'm hoping you can see this it's a little uh, crosshair and you can just click and drag whatever you're trying to save so in this case we're gonna try to do, save this ad okay so we're just gonna go ahead and highlight it boom and now we have our ad highlighted and copied over so it's very very specific it looks great when you put it in an email it's very uh, very professional looking okay and then you can from here you can just save it to whatever you want or you can simply just control V or or uh, paste it into your email body and it will just do it you don't have to save it first for example if, you, if you're in an Outlook and you're composing an email you can just do control V and it will paste this in the exact same screenshot well guys I hope you found this very helpful this very quick video um, and if you like it if you like this video share it with your friends with family look forward to more videos and don't forget to subscribe and I'll uh, see you next time okay bye bye